And we're back. I made a cabin for the ladies over here. Hey, hello, hi. Kind of sparks, but they got their own place now. Looks like my trees have grown. So that used to mark the 80 by 80 build area, but that's been increased to 120 by 120. So the build area is actually over the cliff somewhere. It's very large. But now we're going to retrieve a crucible. The crucible is needed for a smelter, a smelter, which give us uh, upgraded equipment and stuff like that. So I'm hoping we get a, like a nicer pickaxe, and then we can make copper and. I thought I saw another material. I'm not sure what other material I saw. Oh, we're going here. Maybe we'll run into that deer. Oh, look at that. There's a level 13 something down there. And a town. Have we been to that town? Oh yeah. Diadwin. But we are going... I want to say... Here. There's a boar over there. And a bugbear? No, it's boars. Ah! <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, not going that way. Here we go. Oh yeah. Speeding in the new glider. I never use the skill points. Let's see what we got here. I never looked at them, but I did notice this. A radiant aura. When I was when I was reviewing the video, so we got a fire damage bonus, and then we can go here. And it says all fell foes within ten meters. So I guess those infected creatures in the shroud are called the fell. So it wouldn't be every creature. It would only be those fell. But I'm thinking that might be something to shoot for. Oh, looks like we have to clear out this base in order to get the crucible. Whoa! <laughs> Mark of Samoth. I remember them saying something about this place. Oh! I did upgrade uh, some of those intelligence points. So yeah, I hit that guy for 90. What did I take? Oh. 
What did I take? I think I took these two. Intelligence, intelligence, yeah. Hmm. He's, he's right there. I feel like I'm hitting him. Can't see me. So I'm cheesing it. I'm cheesing it. He's, he's dead. And my wand is almost dead. Oh, mud. Is he coming down here? <laughs> I thought he was coming down here. Ooh, I hit him for 99. Oh, I can't climb. I can't climb up. Well, shit. The game is broken. <laughs> we got a bed here in case it gets to night time. Let's read this. Sameth demands it. Listen, you lazy brutes. Our leader Sameth demands we dig more elixir wells. This will give us the, all the elixir we could ever need. It will be dangerous work, but the risk is surely worth it. Dig, you fools, or face the wrath of Sameth. Uh, I think this is the only way through. Oh yeah, we gotta like go through a very narrow passage here. I never made an elixir of light or whatever. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a sec. I'm deep in enemy territory. The mines of Moria. I feel like this little hook on the map here is like uh, a treasure chest. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I, I was mistaken. Oh, what's this? Shit. Makes me want to use grenades. But we're not going to. Uh we get some good wands here. Whoa, 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 whoa. He did not like that. It said effective. I'm 
not sure why I took so much damage. Hey, buddy, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dave for extra damage. I wonder if Dave levels up with me. Okay, where are we? Oh, it's chain lightning. 20 meters, that was pretty far. What is, what is 20 meters? Let's put a marker. Dave scared the shit out of me when I came back. That's 20 meters. That's far for chain lightning. Feels like a horrible idea. It says cave pass. Oh. Dave is a source of light. Oh, cave passage. I don't know. I don't know if this is where I want to be right now. <laughs> At least I know it's there. Dave, you check it out. Scout it out. Get back to me. I was gonna loot those, but I was like, no, we don't need enough boxes. We gotta get this crucible. Gotta get like a better pickaxe. Get into that copper stuff. Should have searched that thing first. Ooh, this is very creepy. <laughs> oh, my goodness, did they put this thing here just so that I would know I'd have to upgrade this pickaxe? <laughs> They probably wanted me to bring like a scrappy pickaxe. Oh no, I that's that's what I have. But they really want me to go through this whole freaking wall? Oh, oh shit! You scared the shit out of me! Holy smokes, did you ever scare me? It's like a creeper when I'm digging in Minecraft.
<laughs> Jeez, my skin is just crawling. Yeah, I'm not supposed to go through there. I went on the tightrope here, this beam. Tickets. I don't think it's down here, but I, I could be wrong. I missed this chest. I missed a few guys down here. Maybe it's in here? That definitely made him squishy. Couple chain lightning bonuses in there. <laughs> that swirl, that swirl underneath him. That was one of my perks. A passive perk that if they hit me, they slow down. Is this going to say cave passage again? Oh, getting some light over here. I gotta know what's behind this. Nothing. Oh, maybe something. Copper. A wizard chest! Protects the wearer from stray sparks, sun cold flashes. Okay, let's check that out. 44, 44, 3061. So this is magical resistance. Oh man, we're looking badass. In fact, let's do some long-range damage. Two hundred and eighty-three I hit him with. Really have to anticipate what he's gonna do. Oh, he's a uh, he's the arrow guy. He's the bolt guy. I'm feeling kind of squishy in the armor department. Let's eat a roasted 
or grilled grilled mushroom. Okay, how much closer are we? Thirty-three meters. Shit! <laughs> I was looking forward. Is this outside? I'm outside. It's just simply nighttime. <laughs> Darn it. meters oh oh man we have dug too far sameth your greed for the elixir cannot be quenched you keep it to yourself when you said you chair you liar we your people die for you in those tunnels for what we banish you from our midst go now or we'll show you the strength of our numbers find your elixir somewhere else this is our mine so I was worried that that was going to say Oh, I was worried he was going to say we have to go to another area. But here it is. The glow would indicate that this is it. The crucible. Oh, let's search this. I was worried that I was going to have to waste a bunch of explosives on, on a copper wall or something. Because they were giving me so many explosives. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's, let's head back home and see what this brings us. Okay, let's see what he says. Let's fix that up. Time to craft a smelter. Huh. Ah, you found my crucible, huh? Was that journey too far for you? Quit whining, Flameborn. Rekindling the fame takes time and patience. Right now, just crafting that smelter will suffice. Let's get to work. Smelter. Fired brick, fifty fired brick. And a crucible. Break a leg. Okay, let's see what we got in the kiln over here. I don't know if we have fifty. Ooh, that's got our So we need lumps of clay. What is this? Amber. We have one amber. That might actually be worth something, like a hat or something. Uh, no lumps of clay. So we would need like 30 rubble. Dirt roadblock. Darn it. We have no lumps of clay. So instead of searching the forest, looking for lumps of clay, mining the clay, and coming back, we're just going to cut it here. And we'll be right back once we have enough clay.
And we're back. Basically got enough clay. Until my axe, my pickaxe broke. So I need... Fifty bricks. So of course I grabbed 120. Never know what we're gonna need those bricks for. And it would appear that we need to wait twenty-four minutes? How long does it take for a brick? Thirty seconds. So we gotta wait fourteen minutes for twenty-eight bricks. What? We'll be right back. And we're back. It looks like we've miscalculated here. We have what we need. We can build a smelter. Anything else? Oh, I gotta build it, build it. Uh, place it somewhere. I... Whoa. This is definitely an outside kind of thing here. Can't place it on there. Well, we're gonna put it outside for now. Maybe make a platform. can we do here? Charcoal and copper ore. So you need at least 20 copper ore and I have it. I swear I've never, I've never looked at any let's plays. I just collected exactly 20. Okay, uh, and we need charcoal. Hmm. Guess we should make some more charcoal. Wood logs and dirt. Okay. Five minutes. It'll make ten copper bars. Okay. I also did some inventory management and I noticed that I... When I was picking up lumps of clay, I got another amber. So now we have two amber, which allows us to upgrade the magic hat. Oh, I need some torn cloth. Go in my torn cloth stockpile over here. So uh, I made some health potions. I made some bandages. Let's upgrade the magic hat. 13% magical criti critical strike chance. May the flame guide your way. And the old one was 11. This is definitely uh, greater magical resistance. And if you'll notice, I put the old stamina, the archer's chest piece back on. I left the I left the mage outfit here. But I can just delete that one. So I I kept the the stamina bonus plus twenty four stamina. Um. Yeah. I also moved the spindle into that air house over there. Three minutes. And we'll see what... See, we've already unlocked everything because we found a copper bar. But what does ten copper bars get us?
It gets us a shield. Ghostly shield. Interesting. So we get a copper pickaxe. Eight copper bars. Wow. And it costs the same amount of stamina. It's a little bit more damage, but... It costs the same amount of stamina. These gloves... Ooh. Pink trousers. Plus 45 health. And health regeneration boots. So those would cost five bars. Um, 120 health. Forty-five health plus two generation. So this, these two pants and boots provide pretty much the same thing, but the t adventure set as a. Plus 120 health. Gonna. Gonna. Never let the cold stop. Pants am I rocking here? Plus 23 health. Rising fighter trousers. Well. When we come back. We'll see what those copper bars can do for our for us. I got everything I needed for the chest piece. But when I went to go and grab some linen, I noticed that she had a mission or some some new information. I know it sounds silly, but a good old kettle over a nice toasty fireplace would make this place feel more, more like home. Oh, all the meals we could make. How are you? Kettle for a fireplace. Ah, uh, lovely to see you. I'd like to cook for our crew, raise the spirit. A fireplace with a kettle would help, but I gave mine to a friend when our caravan split. He was headed to the Pike Mead's Reach. Maybe we can ask for it back. Say hello to Raoul for me when you're there, please. Fireplace at Farmer? So I need the kettle. Excuse me, I had a coughing fit there. Okay, she needs a fireplace and a kettle. We'll go here. See what this guy can give us. Adventure chest. Oh, look at that. I got a cape! Superman is here, baby. Okay, let's... Let's upgrade the other health. The pants. So... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I used one of the freaking... So this is 3815 health. 3815 health. So they're basically the same. However, this uses less material. I think I kind of want the cloth. No, these ones. These look more like armor. 
So this is plus two health. They're exactly the same. I feel like being light on my feet and dodging. I'll, I don't want those big boots. I want these boots. Okay. That's it, baby. Oh, I got this stupid helmet. <laughs> Ooh, I had a plus two stamina rege regeneration. <laughs> I look pretty badass. But, ooh, probably keep those. We can delete these. Plus two stamina regeneration. I'll see if I miss it. Maybe I'll use it. I'll keep those for mining copper. Oh, can't keep them in there. Hmm. What can we? Oh, get rid of these arrows. Put them in rock. Put those somewhere. And one copper bar left. That's full. And we got some materials here. Maybe I'll split this stack of water. I haven't been drinking enough water. In real life and in the game. Let's have a drink now. Okay. Curious what the damage is going to be on our stuff. So when I was watching the videos, so editing them, I noticed that I never really gave the salt mine a chance there. I saw a couple of hills that looked different. So I would like to head back there and see if I missed something. I'm also curious to try out the new equipment. Oh! -ho -ho. So I know the salt mine is in that shrouded area. So maybe we'll just dive into it. Maybe we can get up here. Oh, just about. There we go. Okay. Salt mine. See that brown that brown area right there? Is that salt? I think it might be. Nope. Ooh, is this salt? It is! So I missed something. I, that brown area was like a slide area. Oh, yeah. So we have lots of fur. I'm not sure how many outfits we need. But salt was hard to come by. And now we have 
a source of it. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Looks like we're getting excellent, excellent XP from salt. Okay, um, try and get out of here. Ooh, we got a mana potion. Couple nails, that's good stuff. Okay, good stuff. We'll head back. And we're back. Basically, I got some dried fur started. I need three salt and one f fur. So I got like 50 dried fur started. The farmer said we needed to go far east. Like here. No. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where she said. For some reason that one's that one's marked. Oh there it is. Fireplace for the farmer, yeah. But also we never checked out this wooden structure over here. <clears throat> so I'm curious to what kind of trouble we can get into. What kind of damage we do. And what kind of protection we have with an adventurer set. Oh yeah, give me them strawberries. Got some chamomile over here. This wooden structure above that thing. I got a 13% magical critical hit chance. Wow, look. Wow, <laughs> looks. We've never been this way before. Big scary valley. Oh, that's where we fought that boss. Okay. I wonder. If we can see a tower from over here. Oh, we got a flame sanctum. A flame shrine. Now, probably not the smartest to just fly in there. <laughs> Test it out, see if it's... We die immediately. But fuck being smart. <laughs> Let's get in there. Well, we're surviving, and we found a road immediately, so... Level 15! However, I have magical resistance! Oh, I crouched, I pressed down left. Instead of left, left. Oh, where am I? <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> oh, I'm out of stamina. Shoot. 
<laughs> I'm really missing that stamina boost. I got some honey. Let's go get our stuff back. <laughs> Very unnerving sound. I made some potions. Might as well use them. Ah! <laughs> oh! Those people are creepy, Dave. Oh, look at that. We're healing for 19. There is some dangerous areas around here. Holy smokes. What a shot. What a shot. This is a very large enshrouded valley. So I just want to get out of here and see what we can find a safe spot. This is a, this doesn't feel very safe. This says elixir well. Okay. Still not really out of the valley. We're just on a hill. Okay, location above. Fireplace for the farmer. Hmm. I wonder if we can climb that mountain in some way. Uh oh. <laughs> that could have ended badly. Especially how far we are from everything. I'm definitely missing that stamina. I'm gonna come back, doesn't come back. Okay. I'm having a real rough day with my voice. <laughs> oh. Uh. I don't know if I'll be able to get up here.
Well, we can jump it. Can't run, uh, can't walk up it, but we can jump it. Okay. No, we can't do that one. Can't go up that way, that's for sure. Really one up here. Here we go. Middle of nowhere. We did it. There is another peak over there. But I think... I think this will be good for us. to see it. <laughs> Maybe I should have brought that rake. I should have brought that rake and flattened it. Flatten this area down. Okay, let's try this again. Not enough free space. Whoa! <laughs> Don't do that! Uh... I didn't bring a rake. Darn it. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> stuck in the wilderness.
I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, I got blue. We did it. Aha. That's awesome. So awesome. But it's the middle of the night. What? So I went home and I wanted to see how much copper we needed. We get like a hundred XP from salt. But we want to get nine XP from copper. This is bogus. I need eight copper for the pickaxe. Look how close I am to leveling. Jeez. <laughs> Hit the thing already. There, I need some wood logs for my new base. How many copper ore do I have? Seven. It's a little bit more. How much do I need to level my character? A uh, hundred and two. <laughs> I'm not gonna mine this thing to a hundred and two. We'll be right back when we have a better pickaxe. And we're back. So I went back and you can't smelt 8 copper. You can only smelt 20. So I need 12 more here. And I'm always I'm pretty close to leveling. So we'll take care of that too. Come on. 13. Mother would be proud. Skill points. And we got 12 ores. Skills. So over here I noticed all fell foes within 10 meters take one fire damage per intelligence per second. That's quite a ways off. Radiant aura, aura, and sun aura. So this is, uh, it just damages them constantly. So I'm going to head that way and take this one. Even though we don't do fire damage. And we're, we'll be one away from radiant aura. Okay, now we have enough to smelt for a better pickaxe. We'll be right back. Okay. We have the... Oh. This guy's got a, something for us here. What is it this time? Tall tales. <laughs> you know, I grew up in the capital. They used to tell stories. Stories I shared with my daughter as well. Sometimes at night, their faint lights glowing beneath the waves... A sign of Queen Pikemead's gracious rule. My daughter said she saw them once. Children's tales, I thought. But who knows? Stranger things have happened in Embervale. So there's lights underneath the waves? Okay. Uh, pickaxe. 
shroud wood. Uh, gotta have shroud wood somewhere. Pickaxe. There it is. Now I wanted grappling hook pull up. Metal sheets. Strike while the iron. I got some sheets in here. I should, I should probably make some more metal sheets. How much charcoal I got cooking here? I got them cooking, but I got none. Let's see. Do I have some in here? I got lots in here. So take that out. Make some metal sheets. There we go. Now I want the grappling hook pull anchor for my next base. Never let the cults. Uh. Or should I say launch point? I'm not gonna build a base. How's the backpack? Eh, kinda crowded. But we're gonna head to the base that's far north. We'll be right back. And we're back. I know there's copper ore around here somewhere. What's this? That looks like clay. We've gone here before. And, uh... We got some ore out of it. But as far as I know, it's the closest spot nearby. It hasn't respawned, but I'm curious as to how much damage we do here. It feels faster, definitely. I was hoping that would be like really noticeable, like clay, you know. Oh yeah, we're going through stone like butter, so that's good. <laughs> Tuckered out. Oh, let's drink some water. We don't drink enough water. There we go. I'm not really getting any copper oil from it. But it's noticeably faster. We only need four more for another smelt. There it is. 20, okay. Now we got some new armor. 120 health. Major health bonus here. So let's go back to that camp. The one that gave us so much trouble. Whoa. I 
don't want those guys. I want the I want the real fight. These guys in here. So which wand is better? 26 damage, 32 damage. But this one's ice. So we'll, we'll test them both out. <laughs> uh, let's lead them in the tr into the trap. We can do it. Yeah, yippee ki -yay. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Hitting 72s. Ooh. Who's shooting at me? This asshole. Hey, you've even got Dave up here. Oh, let's try a little bit, guy a little bit closer. Come on, Dave, get down there. <laughs> Oh, we got Dave and Mike. Of course, I have to go total darkness. I'm going in the middle of the night here. Ooh, look at all those critical. We murderated them. We did have to soften them up. We had to cheese it a little bit by going way up high. But there was a noticeable difference. What is that? What is it? Is that? Is that Mike? What is that weird sound? <laughs> Oh, it scared me. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in this game. There's a couple more guys down there? Yeah. Gotta be. All oh, right, the guys with the with the bolt action. So they got that little frost marker underneath them. They're slowed down. Aha! Oh, this... This one... This one hits for 90. I do ice damage. I got an ice damage bonus. Oh, darn it. I got an ice damage bonus, but that... Apprentice Wand really hits... Hard. Shit! <laughs> oh, 
Come on. See, I th that's where I get confused. I uh, I was doing 90s, but then those guys are only 70. Critical strike of a hundred and twenty five or one twenty four. Knock, knock. Some good loot. Didn't even pick it all up yet. Well, that's gonna be the episode, guys. Oh wait, I want to show you my my tower that I made. I made a a tower in the more northern base. Let's go there. So I made these little steps here and there we are I took out some of these trees and I made a very very large tower but I can't jump off it just quite yet we'll save that for the next episode uh, there's a scaffolding over here I think it's like four high. Yeah, it's four high. I did bring the rake with me. It didn't work out that great. It's hard to figure out that rake. So I just sort of made a scaffolding and a floor here. So I used less material by using a by using a ceiling. That's actually a ceiling, so it costs way less than a floor. But it looks exactly the same. Whoop. <laughs> if you're too close to the altar, you can't jump like that. You can't use the grappling hook. Like I said, I upgraded this area. So we're like 80 feet in the air. So right at the top of my hat, that's on that tree. That's 80 feet. So we're pretty high up. Maybe I'll take out that tree. In case we have to jump to the north over there. But thanks for watching. And we'll see you next episode.